super being here. It's fantastic and it's great to come here from Warm One and to be with you all. I think it's such a sense of so many people coming together, bringing together a lot of different issues, but coming here with the same point. And the same point being that this is our Olympics and it's Olympics that's been adopted and taken by the companies that should be reclaimed by us. So thank you and thank you for coming today. I'm here to talk about Warm Once campaign, the situation for workers supplying Adidas. But I want to just say a little bit first about some of the other companies. Because I think what we've seen here at this Olympics is the way the companies are the people that we've been carrying the torch for. Whether it's because for G4S, who have actually done a fantastic job of attacking their own brand. But we shouldn't forget the G4S is a private military company. G4S is in Afghanistan, G4S is in Iraq, and G4S is looking at new opportunities with oil around the world. So when G4S comes here and says to the Home Affairs Select Committee, we're, we're sorry for messing up the Olympics, we've got to remember that they were only doing the Olympics to make sure that they had a good image here in the UK. And we've got to keep opposing companies like that that are privatising war and privatising security here in the UK. So, so we have these companies, we know Coca-Cola, we know McDonald's, we know that these obesity creating multinationals are using the Olympics to use the idea of sporting excellence to sell, their, to sell themselves and this is fairly disgusting. But Warren One have been looking at the case of Adidas. Now Adidas, you know, they haven't come under a lot of criticism for a long while. But if you look at the way their workers are treated, the people who have made their clothes for the Olympics, but also the rest of their, their garments, we're talking about massive systematic exploitation of workers across the world. And Adidas have spent a hundred million pounds to get the corporate sponsorship for the Olympic Games. This is a big deal for them. When you see their chief executive in the media this week, he's made very, very clear that the reason they're here, the reason they're supporting the Olympics, is to beat Nike in the big stakes of who the big sport brand is going to be. Well, the thing Adidas doesn't beat Nike in is Adidas, Nike, all the companies that are linked to the Olympics, are engaged in real exploitation of workers systematically across the world. And we've seen it, we've seen evidence in Indonesia of workers paid 34p an hour. That's 34p an hour, which means that people who are making clothes for the Olympic Games, missing meals, can't afford to feed their families, and are living in very dire conditions. They're not able to unionize. They're abused at work. And so to have Adidas, when we watch them throughout the next two weeks, standing up there in their brand, saying they're there for fair play in the name of the Olympics, there is nothing fair about not paying workers a living wage. So thank you all for being here. This is a really important day. It's really important that we keep up the campaign. Warm one campaign against Adidas exploitation. It's not okay here, it's not okay anywhere and we're very grateful for you all for supporting the work we do and everyone is doing to say we want a people's Olympics, not a corporate Olympics. Thank you. Okay.